Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 434, Cranial Nerve Reflexes. Before we talk about different type of cranial nerve reflexes, let's just talk about what a reflex is and what afferent and efferent means in terms of cranial nerve reflexes. So a reflex is a series of physiological steps that occur rapidly to produce a reflex. So let's just use gag reflex as an example. So in gag reflex, there is going to be an object that reaches the nerve in the back of the throat. And that sends a message via the afferent nerves. And this goes to the central nervous system. So afferent nerves brings in the information to the central nervous system. CNS receives this information and it sends a appropriate response via an efferent nerve. And these are the motor nerves which will create a physical response. So that's what afferent and efferent means in terms of cranial nerve reflexes. What is the afferent nerve that helps cause the corneal reflex? The afferent nerve which helps cause the corneal reflex is the ophthalmic nerve which is the first branch of the trigeminal nerve, also known as the nasociliary branch. What is the efferent nerve that helps cause the corneal reflex? The efferent nerve that helps cause the corneal reflex is the temporal branch of facial nerve, which has innervation on the orbicularis oculi. What is the afferent nerve that helps cause lacrimation reflex? The afferent nerve that helps cause lacrimation reflex is the ophthalmic nerve, which is the first branch of the trigeminal nerve. One thing to note about this is that even if there is a loss of reflex, that does not mean that emotional tears will not happen. So in learning this, it's important to differentiate the difference between emotional tears and lacrimation reflex. What is the efferent nerve that helps cause lacrimation reflex? The efferent nerve that helps cause lacrimation reflex is cranial nerve 7, which is the facial nerve. What is the afferent nerve that helps cause jaw jerk reflex? The afferent nerve that helps cause the jaw jerk reflex is the sensory mandibular nerve, which is the third branch of the trigeminal nerve. What is the efferent nerve that helps cause the jaw jerk reflex? The efferent nerve that helps cause the jaw jerk reflex is the motor mandibular nerve, which is the third branch of the trigeminal nerve. What is the afferent nerve that helps cause the pupillary reflex? The afferent nerve that helps cause the pupillary reflex is cranial nerve 2, which is the optic nerve. What is the efferent nerve that helps cause the pupillary reflex? The efferent nerve that helps cause the pupillary reflex is the oculomotor nerve. What is the afferent nerve that helps cause the gag reflex? The afferent nerve that helps cause the gag reflex is cranial nerve 9, which is the glossopharyngeal nerve. What is the efferent nerve that helps cause the gag reflex? The efferent nerve that helps cause the gag reflex is cranial nerve 10, which is the vagus nerve. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.